Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is uh, Snarling Urn part 17. In the last episode we, well, tried to keep our dwarves inside since a lot of them were being stupid and going into the caves. And uh, I put a lot of people in my inside burrow and we had a siege at the end and at the end I decided I wanted archery towers near these platforms so if goblins act stupid in the future I can just send my archers to a tower near them and uh, shoot them. Um, but first also some little things, or uh, things you commented upon. Uh, first of one, one view, multiple of you said I missed the surgeon and the hammer in the inside bureau. And uh, I've put them in now. And um, I've done that off screen. Uh, also what I've done off screen, which we didn't comment about, is, but is find where Dark Gnome is in the list. And uh, turn it off, and uh, if you want to know, it's um, uh, so it'll be sorted. And Dark Gnome is two pages below this one with dog and cat. There's the Dark Gnome. And uh, now everything should be sorted out. All Dark Gnomes will be sorted to that stockpile, since those are um, uh, humanoids as well, and you can't slaughter those, and you can't do much with that. Um, other things, oh yeah, one very good thing, so I still have tons and tons of cancel messages, pages and 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 pages of them, and uh, it's terrible, and uh, you can just turn it off, it's in the O menu here, it's in the top, I completely forgot about this, or you read over it all the times, but it's now set on now some job cancellations. Well, you know what? We're going to set it to no job cancellations with X. So O and then X a couple of times and hey, you can change that. So hey, this should give me way less of those goddamn cancel messages and maybe I'll be able to see when an ambush hits me. So um, that's nice and uh, now I think we can start. Um, yeah, this should all be fine. We can just start like normal now. Um, oh yeah, and the target for this episode so is building some archer towers. So let's start doing that. Um, and uh, I like to make those. And let's start near near the south and near the west where the goblins were being annoying, especially here in the south. Um, so let's do that. Well, let's start making some walls. Uh, first of all, let's clear cut some trees a little bit more because they'll of course be in the way. Uh, like this. Uh, on this side it should be okay since it's in the evil zone. Let's cut those trees as well. Uh, here I should be able to make do with just one tower if I just build it like here. Um, and here, maybe if make one in the middle like here as well, it should work fine. Uh, it doesn't need to be done on this side of the river, for the, of the moat even. Um, okay, that's the tree cut. Now let's build some towers. And I should have enough blocks, I think. Um, why can't he build there? Uh, because that's... Huh. Why can't it build on the lower tile here? That's an no tree there. No, oh, I don't want a candle there. Dense dolly grass. Also, I just got an SMS and yes, I have an Android phone. Ugh, stupid voicemail stuffies, thingies. That's uh, worthless. Um, let's see, why can't I build on the lower tile here? Oh, it's too close to the edge. Too close to the edge, of course. Uh, well, a tower like this would also work. And, uh, yeah, I have enough marble blocks. Let's make it out of marble. And I also always like to make archer towers like this. In this 5x5 um, five five setting. Um, there we go. And now, people will need a way to get in. Because if I just build it like this, they'll be able to they'll get stuck. So I'll need a way in from the bottom. And let's see, that will need to be about here. Or you know what, I should make it in a corner. That would make me make, make, making the platforms easier. 
sure that'll work. Um, yeah, I'm going to dig an up down staircase here. That will be loaded as well. Uh, let's see, should I connect them all to this level? No. Uh, I could all connect them to one of these digging levels, but no, those are way too deep. Um, this level's pretty big. And this is level, yeah, with uh, the animal stockpile. Anyway, this seems like a plan. Okay, I'll connect them to that. Um, here we go. A little bit deeper. Ah, I pressed wrongly again. And <laughs> I moved the designations. Oh, this is a great start of the video. Okay, enter. Go down a couple of levels here. And you know what? Lose an up stairway here. That looks nicer. And this should go to that archer tower one nicely. Then later on, when let's all dig out and the walls are built, I can build in another up down stairway here. And then on the top level, we're going to make fortifications. That should work fine. Um, also, let's start building a second tower here as well. Um, let's put it here. Yeah, that should work. Um, oh, that's too tall. That's a shame. I'll just have to do that again. And delete the top row. Now dig out a stairway under it, start here, make sure it doesn't hit any of the other stairways. Um, which level was that? Here, this level. Um, hmm, it'll be tough to find. So this is, um, what level is this? 144, if I look at the lower bottom right. Um, okay, now we're here again. Go down to 144, and that should work. Make an up stairway here, connect it to, well, the rest of the level. Um, like that should work. Yeah, now I need to do that basically with every corner here, and I won't do that all on video. Uh, first I'd rather finish these, these first two towers anyway, because here's where the problem was. Uh, also, a maze dwarf has been found dead. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, I just stopped the siege in the end of the last episode, and my dwarf had a lot of hauling to do. Let's also claim a lot of things while we're still at it. Um, there's probably tons of stuff to be claimed. That's all claimed. Make sure there's another claim here. And here on the right side where the dwarves died, I think I already did that. That should work out. Okay, now, yeah, stuff needs to happen. I, uh, those walls need to be built as, uh, firstly, as most importantly. So this is going to be pretty dangerous, actually, having an archer tower in the, the zone like that. But Oh well, I won't, like, put the patrol in here anyway. The only way I can use this is to send a... Um, just a squad in there, just when I want them to, with the move command, so... When there's a cloud in there, I shouldn't just not move my dwarves in there. So that'll this will work out. Um, but for now, it's time for a pause. Let's uh, let the game run for a while until I can build this, these towers. Okay, see you guys in a second. All right, uh, one thing: I'm still building the towers, but hey, the gnome uh, sorting has been done by the looks of things. So. Let's dump some gnomes. Still have this little garbage dump over here, which is just a garbage dump and not a pit pond. But, uh, well, that should work. Let's dump all this crap. We don't need it anymore. Um, also, there's like one little edge of stockpile there. I'll just remove that to make things here easier. But, well, let's do remove the goblin which is on that tile. Now we should just dump all these gnome and goblin stuffs into the moat again. We should. <laughs> Dwarves are pretty busy, I guess, at the moment. Um, 
Come on, maybe this dude? Yeah, he's picking up a gnome corpse. And there it goes, into the pond, or into the moat. What's the here now? There should be a lot of things on this tiles, yeah. <laughs> lots of elf corpses, lots of goblin corpses, and goblin knight even, because they're stupid. Next time I'll disarm, I'll remove that one little dump place before I uh, disarm more goblins. But, uh, well, this can also go off screen. You have the idea how the dwarves will go here. Pick up a gnome and pick, toss them into the moat. Because I don't need those gnome bodies. And, uh, well, that is working. Also, looks like digging here has been done at least. And digging here as well. well that's good. Maybe I should also put out some more digging commands as well. But I think that can wait. Building these walls is more important now. Still have a lot of idlers though. Um, you know what? You could use some more masons, I guess. Let's try and look at that. Let's uh, use the dwarf therapist here for a second. Um, yeah, and the people who don't have a nickname, they aren't, shouldn't be in the um, in the burrow and should be fine to do any masonry. You know what? You all get masonry. That's fine. Yeah. Um, Sure. Commit to that. That should fix that problem. Although I didn't put all the masons in the barrel either, but only the the high quality masons. But this should speed things up a little. Um, of course, the dwarves are building these, but uh, starting on the wrong side. You know what? I'll cancel this wall so they can. Uh, I'll cancel this wall so they can build the left ones as well. Um, but yeah, now it's first more waiting time. It's what needs to happen, need to wait. <laughs> but, uh, I'll pause and I'll see you guys later. Alright, the first wall is nearly built here. And uh, let's see if this guy gets himself stuck. Looks like he isn't. Yeah, he didn't get himself stuck. What a miracle. It's a, it's a dwarven miracle. Um, well, now this part is done. Uh, also, some part got suspended, but now we can move on. Now, uh, what we should really do is build. Um, well, I think we can do this with the build command. If I BCI or BCX even, I should be able to build marble. Actually, not to build marble uh, blocks here. Not marble, just normal marble. Uh, if I build a marble block there, then they should automatically make that. And then they can get to the second level and we can plan further on that. Um, also, I saw found some other things. Well, first of all, the little lamb which I've put on here has, I think, starved. <laughs> it's a... Um, I think that's the only reason, because there weren't any goblins last time in the siege. And there's no blood around, so it's probably just starved. Oh, oh well, that's no problem. Let's put in something new, like... Um, oh my fucking god, baby pangolins. Oh dear. <laughs> They're starting to breed now. That's a problem. Um, well, let's put in the baby... Other pangolins. Uh, I should never have said that one pangolin free, like free, I guess. I don't want to start, start a pangle in for him. I have no idea what these things do anyway. Let's, you know what, let's put in all the babies. It's two baby pangolins. I don't want them in my fortress. <laughs> Fuck them. Um, let's see if the little stairway gets built though. Um, it's the last command I gave. Oh, and uh, before I forget, another couple of things. Um, the dancers should still be dancing down here. Let's take a look. Oh, actually, there's just, there's a pawn grabber near him as well. Maybe that'll change the situation. The uh, the dude here is still pretty much uh, broken, and uh, the amphibian woman spear master is still doing fine. Huh? But does the do these pawn grabbers change the situation? Maybe they don't seem to be getting closer. They're just leaving the two, uh, two, the, two, the two dancers to fight. Ah, oh, that's nice. Um, 
Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't think there's anything strange in there. Um, let's see. Here, the amphibian woman misses the amphibian woman spear master. Stabs her in the lower body with her funky wood spear. Still, yeah, with the horrible funky wood spear. Uh, let's page up through a couple of pages of this, but it's mostly misses. But yeah, that's not changing. The dancers are still dancing, and um, well, I'll let them dance. Um, otherwise, here, some of you recommended I just put, I should put uh, hatch covers over these holes. Because when the goblins are falling, the dwarves can see that, and then they freak out, and then they probably, um, one sec, then they let the goblins free. And yeah, that was more of a bird break. Um, but uh, I don't have enough hatch covers yet. I have given an order to make lots of hatch covers, but those will need to be done first. I've put way too many holes in this for that anyway. But uh, I'll do that later on in this video as well. Now, how is that thing going? The stairway? Hmm. Not much yet. Maybe I should dig out the downstairs on the tile first. Someone really should be going there. Okay, you know what? I'll just dig out the downstairs so I know I'm sure there's no connection to there anyway now, but. Yeah. Still think it should work though. Uh, oh yeah, here was something was cancelled, like this one. And <sighs> cancelled that one myself. Now this should be done soon enough. There comes a dwarf to dig out that hole. And let's see up here. There come the last couple of poles. Hmm, while they're doing it like this. They shouldn't get stuck if they just move them from the top, place the tile, like you. Are you going to get stuck? No, you're not. Hmm? There's a child there. No, he doesn't get stuck again. It's another dwarven miracle. It's uh, such a miracle. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> I'm so used to dwarves getting stuck in to archer towers like this. They're just so stupid. Um. Okay, okay, well this has been dug over here, then we'll just place the up down stair over it. Uh, marble blocks. Then I want to be start on the second level. And once I show you that I can do the rest of the archer towers offline. Or, uh, yeah, between the videos or whatever when I pause. Um, first here. The right part needs to be dug out. There it goes. Now the upstairs and stair. Up down stair even. Marble blocks. Oh, and here come the baby pangolin to have to put into the the hole over there. Um other thing oh yeah, here the cougar was finally killed. Um let's assign something to it here too. Like uh, another border buffalo. Sure, not using those either. Uh, it looks like most of the goblin, uh, the gnome corpses, has been tossed as well. Good. Um, now please build those up downstairs, guys. Uh, they're come. Oh, they should both be coming now. That's uh, that's them both completed. Okay, now level above that. See marble blocks here, and same here as well. Then uh, when these are done, it's just time. Um, I will need to place floors here, and then fortifications on the outer level. And then you can get started on the rest. But yeah, this is the part that takes a while. Um, also, because my terrible FPS at the moment, only 32. But yeah, that also might be because of the dancers, but... Uh, oh well, I'm, they're cute. <laughs> who wouldn't want to, st who would want to stop their dance? It's such a majestic thing. Can't do that. No. Um, 
and whoever wins, I lose because the <laughs> whoever wins will probably start attacking me. Uh, okay, that's this one done. Let's place the floors in here uh, like this. And after this, just building fortifications on the upper level. You get the idea. Um, yeah, and I don't have any much to talk about at the moment. Um, everything else in the fortress is going its own merry way. Uh, let's do a little pass by of all the uh, the hotkeys I have. So this is a one, a two. Um, let's give another order of beds while we're here. Can't ever have enough beds. Should probably make some more rooms as well. I could probably use some more doors as well, either. Um, okay, yeah. Also, there's miasma, which is a bad thing. Why is there miasma? There's probably tons of things in here. Yeah, prepared cave crocodile brain roast. Well, we, at least we're eating the cave crocodiles now, that's good. Um, and we're eating jabber as well, apparently. Rotten chopped jabber liver roast. Nice, <laughs> but uh, it shouldn't be rotten. It should be just be brought outside. I think probably because my food stockpiles are too small. Yeah, they don't carry it anywhere. Um, uh, how is my food stockpile on this level doing? Yeah, it's completely filled. Um, and there's also the food stockpile here, which is probably filled as well. Yes, it is. Um, okay, I should make another food stockpile and make it below uh, this level because this is where the overflow goes now, and I want my overflow to go there. Uh, let's make it down somewhere. Probably one of those digging levels which I have, like this one. No real big open areas though. Um, or this one. Oh, they'll do. Uh, let's make a food stockpile here. Won't look as good, but... Here it is something. Um, let's see, and here should only be drinks, plants and food. And those can again go in the same stockpile here. Okay, that should help sort things out a little bit as well. Uh, Okay, that's going. Also, yeah, should place the floors on this level. Let's see, like this. And I'm not done with my run through of all the levels, but. Okay, um, so that should be fixed soon enough. I uh, gave orders for all those beds. You know what? Let's also give order for more wooden bolts. Can't ever have enough bolts. Oh yeah, speaking of bolts, someone also committed that I might not have enough quivers, so you know what, I made an order of make 30 extra leather quitter quivers, that should work. Um, also, let's see, down here, we'll probably use another bone command. Oh, it's still busy, okay. Uh, rock crowns and rock pots are fine, also the jewelers, let's cut some more uh, CRAs. This CRA, 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 um, maybe doing some double now, but that's okay. And lots can be engraved, okay. Now the EGRAS, EGRA, EGRA. And that's probably all that fits. Yeah. These should all be... Uh, repeating, right? Or... Uh, they are there, but things are fucking up because of the fonts. Also, I thought I'd put it on this font, but I think it's the lazy new package messing with that. Let's keep it this, this font. It's probably easier for you to read anyway. Um... Okay, so that was this level. Everything else should be fine here. The uh, quiver order should be do being done. 
Also, cloth bins. I most are probably being stolen by the hospital, but oh well, I still have enough cloth here. I even have picked out fiber cloth. Um, or this is an extra clock stockpile. Yeah, or the leather stockpile. <laughs> and I have more than enough leather. <laughs> or is this both? Yeah, this is both. This leather and cloth and coins. So, yeah, that's okay. Um. Let's see where were I was I F3. Let's go down a couple of levels. These are stockpile levels here. Things are going fine. There's a couple of go goblins in that stockpile, but that's okay. I'll dump those later when the hatches are done. Um, more stockpiles here, and that's all the workshops here. Uh, noble levels still being engraved here. The mill rooms are center rooms are engraved and put some statues in there. I uh, should also yeah, make more of those little bedrooms, make them done. Um, otherwise, all the way down here, forging, I make some more extra gold statues and silver bolts and not any copper uh, discs at the moment, that should be fine as well. I'd rather have some extra bolts at this point. Also, hey migrants, shouldn't be much. Well, let's take a look at them. Um, read the dwarfs. Uh, let's put it on migration wave. Let's see. Oh, that's still quite a big wave. Huh. And lots of masons in here already. Also a very good mason. Uh, let's call you Mason HQ. And maybe you'll, you'll you need to be put in the stockpile. Also, um, none of you should be animal training. None of you should be brewing. None of you should be cooking. Ooh, there's a very good furnace operator slash weapon armor smith. Um, oh, none of you should be fishing either. Uh, let's call you also a weapon smith. Let's see, and you should be fishing. You neither. You know what? You're the best fisher in the world, apparently. You can be a fisher dwarf. It's a very dangerous job, but since you're that good at it, fuck it, you can fish. Uh, other dwarves, stone crafts, and a wow, two very good bone carvers again. Um, clothes making. I do have enough clothes makers, and I don't have enough bone carvers, I think. Man. Yeah, here's another bone carver, here's another bone carver, and here's another bone carver. <laughs> How come I get this, money bo this, this much bone carvers now? Wow. Um, well, that should be fine. Uh, cooking and brewing is off. The most important things are off. Oh, yeah, about jewelry, maybe. I want only want high quality jewelers as well. That's one of the things I should turn off. Um, like that should fix this migrant wave. They don't, don't need to go inside completely. Um, Okay, how about here? That level's... Oh, they're both done. Nice. Okay, now fortifications. Let's start with the outer layers. Or the verticals. And later on, when these are done, I'll do the horizontals. Same here. Where are my marble blocks? Yeah, finding marble blocks like this in stockpile is much better as well. We really should keep it at this font. Okay, um, but you get the idea here. And I've done my little tour of the fortress and we're 30 minutes in already. We're going to pause. Yeah, pause time. Oh, forgot to turn on my mic for a second there. Uh, anyway, my first archer tower is done. This is uh, the plan to make this tower all near all those other places. Now, when enemies show up, uh, I'll be able to just put my Mars Dwarves in there. I'll show uh, a little bit of an example right now. If I just put A here and an M and then... Yeah, they can just go here. And um, I'll be able to use this for if the goblins are stupid again or annoying like last time. If you just sit there, I'll send my, my archers like this and they'll be able to shoot whatever's there. Okay, um, 
So that's done. Um, this one is also nearly done. Let's finish that off while we're at it. Did also did a couple of other things. Uh, but first you. Fortifications. There we go. Uh, I also finally finished this little pass around here. And um, I made a little hole around here so I can place fortifications around this place as well. So it'll be safe to dump things in the future even if it's uh, if we're under siege and there's no hole in the fortifications anymore so no hole where any goblins can shoot through um, and uh, well that is being done are the archers here yet? yes they are the archer tower is done okay well that's the plan for this episode now I'll have to make a whole lot more and um, well let's uh, do that offline yeah so, uh, again, waiting time. Oh, other things I want to show. If I press A now, things look a whole lot better. Well, <laughs> there's a lot, a lot of masterpieces. There's, uh, yeah, people creating masterpieces everywhere. That's all uh, the carving I'm doing and the engraving. And uh, that's going real fine. Yeah, the Forgotten Beast is becoming enraged and not enraged. And Oh, there's just those stray dogs. Um, I should probably give another order for... Uh, war dogs, and I should uh, give the war dogs to some of my military guys. Let's do that. Um, first, I'll need to take him out of the burrow here, out of that pasture, because that can be a problem if I remember right. So, first, let's take all the war dogs out of here, like this. Okay, um, then let's train some more. Some more dogs should be done. Uh, yeah, here's dogs. And you know what? I don't think I really need to set a trainer since I only have one trainer in my fort. And it would go a lot faster for me if I didn't set a dedicated trainer and just use that one very dedicated trainer. You know, he's in the top since he's named Animal Trainer. But yeah, he's the only one. He is the only one, so he should be the only one to train him. So if I just use war training on these dogs then things should work out. Um, any more dogs? Yes there are. And the rest are puppies from here on out. Okay, well that to work. Um, okay, now I need to set some to my military guys. Um, yes, you lose the squads for that. Um, you can cancel that order as well. You've shown that now. Um, first, let's give like two dogs to the, all the military leaders. Um, if I A Z should focus on the military leader. Where is he? Um, a S A Z. Oh, there. Okay, you. Yeah, you're a militia captain. If I go to Preferences, uh, work animals, I should be able to, yeah, attach them and let's give uh, the militia captains two each. So that's one. Uh, I go to you. Uh, where are you? Oh, there in the south. He's actually training here. You get two war dogs. You're in the middle there, okay. This is the captain. You get two war dogs. Where is D? Z? He is to the right of him. I think the other one is above him. This is a militia captain of the maceman, yeah, and this is the just a swordsman. Although militia captain, yeah, I was right. Um, you also get two war dogs. Uh, now there's still a lot left. Um, you know what? Um, the D squad, the Golden Barbs, was nearly annihilated last time since I sent them to fight Jabber's melee and well, that's a bad thing, I shouldn't really have done that. Let's send them here and let's all give them the war dogs. They've deserved it. Also maybe I should put in some more more guys for them. Um, here, you get two war dogs. You get two war dogs. Still have two left. Let's give them to some random guys here, like two one swords dwarf and two one hammer dwarf. 
Here's an armored dwarf. There you go. All the war dogs designed. Nice. Um, so also let's give you some more uh, mist dwarves, aren't you? Yeah, you are mist dwarves. You can cancel the order. You need some replacements for your squad. Um, let's check the dwarf therapist for that. Let's uh, leave it on his nickname. That should work fine. Go to the military. Anyway, you guys, mace dwarves, um, a couple. You are a mace. Uh, let's call you Macy. So I'll have an easier time finding you later. Since they're not completely named Mace. Um, you're also a Macy. You're also a Macy. Uh, that should work fine. That's well, that's three replacements. That should work. Um, then we go here, the golden barbs, and find all the Macy's. Um, there's one. I think I saw the second one here. Yeah. And where's number three? Um, he'll probably be somewhere. Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay. Wow, it didn't even take ten minutes. Wow. Okay, well that's done. Um, how about up here? That's the second archer tower. Also done. Also some blood in it for some magical reason. Pool of goat blood here. Well, gives the place some nice atmosphere. Also looks like the leather quiver order is completed. Also this order is completed, so the wood floors can go, and fortifications can be done on there. Um. Also, this stockpile is getting pretty empty now, that's good. Okay, well, it's time to plan some more archer towers, and I'll do that. Pause them. Okay, that's done. I've built archer towers all around now, like uh, going this way around. Here's one, here will be one, here will be one, here will be one, and here. And uh, that's all of them actually, and if I go down to level 144, they're all connected like this, and this uh, goes in a nice, well, round way around these guys, and um, this should all be dug out soon enough, and then I'll be able to create more of these archer towers, okay. Well, that should work out. Uh, also, building traps around here is still being done. Lots of them were cancelled again, but I cancelled them a while ago already in the episode. So that should work out as well. Um, hmm, what's here? It's, oh, a partial skeleton. Um, I do have a... Yeah, I have a corpse stockpile, right? Yes, I do. And I have my very own graveyard. Which is full already. Okay, let's build that before we get problems with that. Do I have more coffins? Yes, I do. Um, okay, let's uh, just build lots of rows of these coffins. Um, doesn't look that nice, but oh well. Got to make sure you have enough coffins. Also, where there's no any no ghosts yet, or are there ghosts? Doesn't look like it. Because there was like that one kid which was smushed by a bridge, and if he was smushed by a bridge then he shouldn't be able to get up like like normally. Also this food stockpile here is getting some food. That's great. Um and well the all the coffins will need to be dragged in before I can set them and that'll take a while. Otherwise, this stockpile uh, toad remains. Why are there toad and rat remains in here? Oh, because they're normal um, vermin. I'm probably not picking them up. Um, yeah, let's also gather ver vermin remains. Put them in the right stockpile at least. Uh, what's in this stockpile? There's nuts of nails and feathers. Uh, there's parts of the jabbers, I think. Yeah, Amksu, Amksu was one of the, those those jabbers even. Um, that'll work out though, but now later on, well, this should work out. Uh, building walls already starting. Okay, and we're also already at 40 minutes. Um, no siege yet, which is a shame. Because, yeah, the 
should be pretty close to an elf siege, I think. I've killed multiple elf uh, things already, also my worth is getting a whole lot. But oh well. Um, you know what? I think I'm pretty much done for this episode. You've seen the idea, I'll build these archer towers. Most of them all offline and uh, this is just to make sure the goblins don't get stuck near these trap lines again. And if they do, I can just shoot at them to break the siege. Um, so how about we end the episode early? This is uh, taking me way longer than it's these 40, 40 minutes anyway. Um, and the last time I had a fucking episode of an hour. So, yeah. This is the end of the Archery Towers episode. And, um... Uh... Let's end with the dancers. Let's see. Let's check on, on them one more time. They're, they are majestic. They are here and they are still fighting. Um, are they almost both on the same tile now? Or now one is lower and one is higher. But uh, the dancers are still there and apparently the bomb grabbers didn't do shit. Which um, was probably for the best. <laughs> so, now we can look at this and let them see them fighting some more. Uh, how about wounds? No changes in the spear woman. This has had some changes. Hard to tell though. But uh, yeah. Let's just end the episode with that. The dancers are still dancing and uh, I'll see you guys later.